decades, LDS members who live in Lincoln County, Wyoming, had to drive four hours to get to a temple. With now one in their community, Iowa's news reporter Esme Kiriega tells us just how important the new Star Valley Temple is to the community. It wasn't unusual for us to be moving in the winter. Icy bridges, rock slides, and unpredictable weather didn't stop LDS members who live in the Star Valley from following their faith. The temple presidency in Idaho Falls always commended the Star Valley people for their good uh, reliability, that they would show up and be on the job. Driving dangerous, windy roads is how Star Valley LDS members get to their temple. Connie Lancaster recounts when tragedy struck on one of those roads. One accident where um, I believe it was three couples who were attending the temple um, had an accident and were all killed. And the road has changed since then. It was a very treacherous road around a mountain. Now that won't be a concern anymore because of the new Star Valley Wyoming Temple that's already attracting many. Absolutely so thrilled to have this temple so close myself. I'm about four miles away against the east or the west hills and um, I can see the temple out my window. But the trips weren't all bad. It wasn't just exclusively the temple trip. It, it became kind of a opportunity to go to the big city and get a few things that we couldn't get here. There was some perks. People enjoy the outing. They, we get cabin fever up here and we need to get out and we'd go and we'd take our wives and go to a nice restaurant. Reporting in Wyoming, I'm Esme Curiega. The church president, Thomas S. Monson, announced the temple five years ago and construction for the temple broke ground last April. For the full story on today's dedication ceremony, you can visit our website, kdk.com.